From the home workshop to the factory floor, the bandsaw is one of the most popular power tools around. It's called a bandsaw because the blade is a metal band with teeth that moves continuously in a loop around two or three rotating wheels. It can make straight, curved, and angled cuts. This is an industrial bandsaw designed to cut wood, aluminum, and composite materials such as plexiglass. It can cut pieces up to 12 inches thick and can divide a board up to 40 inches wide into two equal sections. The tabletop tilts to a maximum 45 degrees for angled cuts. It's made of sturdy cast iron. The bandsaw manufacturer purchases it from a nearby foundry, then uses a rotary grinder to make the surface, as we can see on the right, smooth and shiny. One of the saw's key components is this lower bearing case. It links the motor to the lower of two cast iron wheels which turn the saw blade. Workers will later mount that lower wheel on one end of the bearing case shaft. Now, on the opposite end of the shaft, they mount the drive pulley. The motor will rotate the drive pulley, turning the shaft and consequently, the lower wheel on the opposite end, which moves the saw blade looped around the lower and upper wheels. Those cast iron wheels, meanwhile, need a rubber edge to ensure the blade moves smoothly and without slipping. Workers position a guide over the first wheel, then slip a rubber band onto the guide. Next, they coat both the edge of the wheel and the rubber band on the guide with contact cement adhesive. Then they carefully pull the rubber band off the guide, flip it over, and press the glued side against the glued surface of the wheel. The first wheel now has a rubberized edge. They repeat the same procedures for the second wheel. In the meantime, another department has welded the bandsaw steel cabinet. After the cabinet gets a paint job, workers begin installing the various components. Among them, the support assembly for the upper wheel. Behind the wall on which they mount the upper wheel, down at the bottom and protruding forward through the hole in the wall, they install the support for the lower wheel. This support is the shaft of the lower bearing case, the side opposite the drive pulley. After mounting the lower wheel, they move behind the wall, install an electric motor right below the lower bearing case, and link the two with a pair of belts. So now when the motor runs, the pulley rotates and the lower wheel turns. Next, they bolt in the tabletop. It tilts on trunnions, pairs of mating half-circle cast iron supports, one attached to the table's underside, the other to the cabinet's table frame. Now for the most critical part of the assembly process. Workers use this jig as a precision guide to align the wheels. The wheels must be perfectly balanced to keep the saw blade stable while it's cutting. Once the alignment's complete, workers remove the jig and loop the steel saw blade around the two wheels. They adjust the blade to the correct tautness by simply setting the tension gauge to the width of the blade. And finally, the last step. Above the tabletop, they mount bearings which guide the blade. Without these, the blade would wobble or drift offline due to the force of cutting through the wood or other hard material. Now, just a final check to ensure everything runs smoothly and make absolutely sure this bandsaw is up to speed when it comes to cutting construction materials. <laughs>